The purpose of this tutorial is to respond to a subscriber. That subscriber asked me was there a way for them to be able to use PowerPoint in order to read all of their notes on the screen without doing any additional highlighting. So the technique that I'm going to use may not work for everyone, but if it were me and I were that subscriber, one of the first things that I would do is to make sure that I open up PowerPoint. In this particular tutorial, I'm going to use PowerPoint 2010. The first thing that I'm going to do is come up here to this arrow for the Quick Access Toolbar. I would recommend clicking on the drop-down arrow. The next thing I would do is to click More Commands. When this particular dialog box opens for PowerPoint options, that user should actually look over to the right and under Choose Commands From, they should click on the drop-down arrow and now they should select All Commands. When this occurs, they'll notice that the information in this area is now alphabetized. I would recommend that they scroll all the way down until they get near the S's. And I'm looking for the one for Speak. And once I get near that section, I'll click on the Speak command. Over to the right, I'll click on Add. In this instance, I'll see Speak has been added to the Quick Access Toolbar. It will not keep that information until I click on the OK button. And when that happens, if I look over to the left side, I can see the Speak selected text is present. The problem is it's grayed out. We always should test to make sure that the information that we want to work with actually works. In this instance, what I'm going to do is pull some text that I have from one document. In this case, I'm going to go to Microsoft Word. I'm going to select a lot of text. So the subscriber wanted to know if this information was inside of PowerPoint, how could they read it continuously? One thing they could do is go back into PowerPoint and at this point I would recommend that they change their slide layout. First of all, make sure you're in the Home tab. You would look inside of the Slides group and you would click on the Layout command. If you look in the middle, one of the best things they could do is to click on the Title and Content slide. So in this area what I'm going to do is I'm going to click and I'm going to right click and I'm going to paste all of the text that I saw in Microsoft Word. You can see that this text runs all the way from the top to the bottom. It's not even legible. But that's not the point. The user wanted to make sure that they had the ability to read all of their notes continuously. Not them but the computer. So what they could do is click up here at the top. I would recommend that they hold the control key on their keyboard and press A at the same time. What they'll notice is all of the text is selected inside of that one slide. If it were me and I were them, I would now look up to the top and I would click Speak Selected Text. Prepare for your interview by review of these 10 rules. They will guide you to be confident, speak with clarity and use the interview to show your talents, fit and value. This is your moment to stand out and get hired. Rule 1. Think fit. The interview is as much And so my point is, this reading would continue all the way to the end. In this instance, all the way to the end of the slide. But it has nothing to do with the slide. It will read all the way to the very bottom of the text. And that is my recommendation to the subscriber that wanted to know, how can I read PowerPoint without doing additional highlighting, but make the computer do it for me?